I'm gonna try my best to be as authentic as I can in this video. You know, that's that's really one of my biggest goals in YouTube, because man, authenticity is like a it's like a virus, honestly, bro. Like you like your favorite actor because they're the most authentic. You like your favorite YouTuber because they're the most authentic. You know, I completed my first semester of medical school. This is a you know grandiose achievement. Um, you know, pat myself on the back type shit. First and foremost, we're gonna hit the fucking like button, bro. I'm finna JK, 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 come on, I'm not actually. If, if you could see, based on how authentic I was being, I don't really care if you hit the like button or not. You still think that's me if you don't, but I don't really care. Previously, before medical school, you know, I really, um, I was one of those people who were like, yo, it's, it's honestly such a corny concept if you really think about it. You have to be a genius to succeed. It's, it's really stupid. By this point, being a genius helps you in any facet of life. If you're six foot five, then you'd be better at basketball. You, well, you should be. You'll have a better chance. But it's just not the only, uh, you know, determining factor. So, like, you know, me, myself, like, I've always been, dang, can I do this, blah, blah, blah. I might not have the certain IQ points that, you know, some niggas might have and shit. And after a semester, we'll see. Hopefully this last test went well, but we'll see. Um, I would like to say that you for sure can do medical school if you're not a genius. Um, one, of the, one of the best things that I've realized is, if you're even thinking about medicine, that means you've heard the class of organic chemistry. And brother, if you've took organic chemistry, or brother, if you if you have taken organic chemistry, then trust me, no concept has been more difficult to understand. Grasping that class was, for me, it was really difficult. Just like I feel like there were so many exceptions to every single stupid fucking rule. But I wouldn't say medicine's like that at all. I wouldn't say medicine's like that. I would say, like, uh, obviously workload, but there's no concept that's like, oh, this is rocket science. This is too hard for my brain to understand. That's, no. There's nothing that's too fucking crazy. It's a couple shit that's kind of fucking crazy, but I wouldn't say too fucking crazy. You really don't got to be a genius to succeed or excel in medical school in any way, shape, or form, you know? That was one of the biggest um, things for me. It's really, it really does come down to how smart you work. I want to say that that's the... I want to say that's the biggest thing, how smart you work. Let me explain. And when I mean how smart you work, think about it. This concept isn't, you're not getting this concept that's really hard, right? A lot of people, what do they want to do? Just work through it, oh, it'll be okay, blah, blah, I don't want to do all this, blah, blah, blah. My, my guy asked for help. My guy asked for help. Like, one thing that I am so gracious for in regards to my medical school is how, how, like, honestly, uh, helpful everyone is. Like, I don't even think, you, I don't even think people were as helpful in undergraduate, like, Maybe it's because people didn't care as much, but if it, if medical school was just about being a genius, being a smart, there'd be a lot less people in medical school. In all honesty, uh, a lot of it comes down to your work ethic. Um, that's what I would like to say. Does being a genius help greatly? I feel like there's some people in my class they don't study that much, and they just got it, man. Like they just they just got it, man. And you can't, you know, don't don't be jealous, don't be mad. You know, you, everybody has their. Uh, Everybody has their disadvantages and ad advantages in this life. Don't be mad about somebody else's, you know what they have to go through, whatever the case may be. But yeah, as I was saying, there's just a lot of things that I didn't know quite well would be so helpful. Classmates, incredibly helpful. People are always ready to share knowledge, especially if somebody knows something. Like, really think about it. And it kind of hit me, like, when I know shit, I, you love to talk about the shit that you know because you know it. You can talk about it. You know what I mean? So, like, it makes sense that people want to help you. It's... Coming here, I didn't think people would be like that for some reason, but whenever you knew something extensively on a topic and somebody asked you a question, you've always jumped at the opportunity because people love talking at the end of the day. Like, fuck what everybody talks, says about, everybody loves talking. That's why old people, whenever they get you to listen for a quick second, they don't stop because nobody ever wants to listen to them. But there's still people, they love talking. Everybody loves talking, especially about a concept or something that you know about. So don't be afraid to ask for help because the professor is going to what? Love to talk. Why? Because it's they've been doing this for years. They have three PhDs on one subject. You know, people, they want to talk to about this stupid shit. Ask for help. If you get into medical school, please ask for help. If anything is even a tad bit not understand, ask for help. Because that thing will be on the test, my boy. It will. They know the exact thing that you didn't study. They know the exact thing that you overlooked because you thought, it wouldn't be on the test. And my boy, they're gonna put that motherfucker on there. Now that we're on the concept of tests though, that's um that's another good question because these tests are kind of unlike, they're, I wouldn't say they're unlike any other tests I've taken because none of them are harder than the MCAT, of course not. <laughs> Fuck no. MCAT made me wanna fucking kill myself. Um, Here's how a regular question goes. Like not even a medical school question. A normal question goes, blah, 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 blah. But as soon as you hear the first sentence, 
You know exactly what they want you to do. You know the exact thing what they want you to do. It's just a matter of do you know how to do it in this way, shape, or fashion. You get me? Medical school tests are a whole bunch of bullshit. So kind of like the MCAT. Maybe that's why they did it. whole bunch of bullshit. And then a whole bunch of bullshit that you know. You don't know or need, basically. And then right there, guess what you see? Is that micro Monroe abscesses? What did I remember that from? It's a whole bunch of like buzzwords type thing, right? It's gonna be there. You might they might present with the same patient every single time, but it's a lot of buzzwords. Now, once you figure out the buzzword, once you realize micro Monroe abscesses means psoriasis, they're not gonna say, "What does the patient have? Is it psoriasis?" No, that understand the test. They hate you. Why would they do that? <laughs> they hate you. They hate your fucking guts, dude. So guess what they're gonna say? They're gonna say the dude has micro Monroe abscesses. Then you have to think of everything that is associated with psoriasis. And then maybe one of those will be on the paper. So not psoriasis itself, but maybe they would say like, okay, well, let's say I said something else like Pemphigus vulgaris. And then maybe they would say like, uh, okay, let's say I said something else. Fuck. Uh, let's say I said something else. Let's say I said, um, uh, okay, yeah, let's say I said rheumatoid arthritis. Then they would go, okay, mind you, still a very easy question. Then they would go, they show you, they give you some small inkling that it's rheumatoid arthritis. And then in the answer choices, they wouldn't say rheumatoid arthritis, but they would say IgG, um, FC binding to, damn, is that rheumatoid? Okay. You get what I'm fucking trying to say though, bro. They give you something. They give, this is my first semester. Give me a fucking break, okay? <laughs> they give you something. Uh, they give you... That you have to figure out what it is. That the first goal, figure out what they're talking about. If you can't do that, then go to the answer choices and try to match it or something. You know what I mean? But that gets really difficult because you're matching it with something that you try to remember. So it is very difficult. And mind you, that was a very easy test. I mean, easy question. Like they get extremely difficult. Like they re they really get you thinking on this test. I really have to applaud them on that. Like you're really thinking. But the idea that if you memorize a lot of the buzzwords, you probably won't pass. But you can get pretty close, honestly, you know, if, if I'm being honest, you know, but that's not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that to anybody because the best way is understanding it as a whole. That's how you can bring things together. And then that's how you can play with, like, that's how you can really understand these extra choices. You might, if you're a genius, maybe you can pull it off with just buzzwords. But you, when it comes to tests, they're extremely hard. You're going to study for seven weeks straight and still still have multiple, multiple, multiple questions where it's like, brother, I don't know what this is. <laughs> You're gonna look at yourself, brother, I'm cooked. <laughs> brother, I'm cooked. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. And then of course you got some easy ones, you know, they got some love, of course. I hate to admit it, my, you know, my sister said it, but like, I, I don't like the whole misery loves company thing. You know, I think that's, I don't want to promote such a, I don't, I don't want to promote that misery, you know, like, it's not misery. That's not what I'm really trying to promote or trying to say, but what's it called? Like, it's true though, man, like, you're struggling, you did bad on the test, or maybe, like, you didn't feel too well about a test, and what, what, like, what's the best moment that's ever happened? You know, you're, you're a kid, like, damn, bro, did you do the homework? Nigga, we had homework? Nigga, bad, then you dap up, it's like, bro, I didn't do it either, I got someone to, like, you know, my homie type shit, you know? So like it's tight that like I'm going through it, the person to the left is going through it, the person to the right is going through it. Man, we all going through it, bro. Let's hold hands, man. You know, like so the whole you're not alone thing is tight. I I'll admit that like a lot a lot of this journey uh getting here was by yourself, by myself. And it's nice to finally uh finally be doing it around people who they, they get it, if that makes sense. So that's tight. Um I would say that's a really big one. Like I, I underestimated how that how much that would uh positively impact my experience in medical school. And I don't wanna like uh overshadow that at all, you know. How about I talk about relationships in uh medical school? Cause that's a good one, right? Relationships in medical medical school. Can you have one? Can you maintain one? Blah blah blah. I wouldn't fucking know, bro. I wouldn't fucking know. I didn't try to do that. I may have had situationships or like night shifts or whatever the fuck. But I don't know if you can maintain one. Now, I can give recommendations. I don't recommend it. Like, if you're already in a relationship, stay in the relationship. But, like, 
getting in one while you're here. Uh, it's like it's like more work. It's like relationships are hard enough, right? Like that's the thing. People ask me all the time, like, bro, would you get in relationship with medical school? Which is a dumb question in the first place, but like, bro, relationships are already hard work, right? It's like it's like having weights on the relationship, you know? You already, I already, I already gotta work at the fucking relationship. Now I gotta work to maintain this, balance this, balance that. Can you do it? Yes, you can. Like you already have a relationship. Do not break up because you got into medical school. What the hell? That's stupid as shit. But I wouldn't say go looking for a relationship in medical school. My personal opinion. I think most people would agree with me, honestly. But my personal opinion. If you're already in one, then you already have that that you know that foundation. But especially a new relationship. What? Man, are you crazy? You gonna think your girl cheating on you? Ugh. Oh damn, brother! <coughs> brother, this whole takes up the whole fucking thing. Are you fucking leather, bro? But yeah, I, I don't suggest them. I don't recommend them. I don't. They can definitely be done, but relationships with medicine, I don't know. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it being too beneficial to you know the goal. The goal, which is to you know be a doctor. But you know, other people may disagree. Other people may disagree. Now, situationships. Yes. <laughs> like, man, you gotta still, you know, conversate with the opposite sex. Like, you can't just be a, you can't just go asexual or something, you know? You still gotta be a human being. So, those are my takes on that. That's about it for this video, man. If you fuck with it, bro, like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. I don't play with y'all, man. I love y'all boys to death, man. If you watch this video, I'll fuck with you, bro. You was here before anybody else was. Remember that.